Well, we made it to Barbados on the first leg of our journey, and this is where we stayed last night. So, we had an interesting night. We wandered along to a bar, that's Ruby's Garage, which is a general store as well. And uh, had a, a nice, noisy night, had some lovely snapper to eat, and uh, a few beers, as you do. And the apartment is very nice, it's very clean, spacious. Two good bedrooms, got a little kitchen area over there, and a big old bedroom, got a little air conditioning unit which I didn't need, very nice. And there's the top half of the stew, which is the bottom half because it's not quite so good. Just <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, we're going to have a, a little look at Barbados, we've not got much time before we have to go again. Then it's off to the airport for the Leo flight. Well, we're now in Guyana. Um, it's six in the morning and we're just heading off to the local fish market to see what they have. And then next to it, as you can see, we've been drinking a bit of this last night. This is the Banks Brewery, the local beer. Very nice indeed. So, uh, so yeah, let's go and see what sort of fish they've got in the market. Um, we've got to get in early, otherwise it'll all be sold. So we've seen snapper, various Grouper, tarpon, Baku. Big fish market. Right, so we're not in Barbados now, we're in Guyana. Photo. Cool. And uh, Nobody seems to know what our weight limit is for taking on board the small plane tomorrow uh, for the, the, the small flight in. So we're thinking it's probably going to be 7 kilos, which is 15 pounds, so we can I start juggling things around. Um, we'll work it out one way or another. But anyway, this is, this is our nice little room. Hotel's been okay, extremely noisy. Bed's far too hard for me, so I've been in pain most of the day from uh, last night's moving around on a rock hard bed. Never mind. We should be off up to the, the airport very soon. Oh, and here's our ride. Spoke too soon, that's Rajesh. So um, this is the pool we haven't been in. And uh, I'm going to say goodbye to the Stephen International for two weeks now. So just get organised and get going. This is our Motley crew. Final journey. So we're obviously up at the top of Georgetown. We're coming, flying down to a place called Apateri, which is, is there that we've got three hours in a boat somewhere down the river. Do a bit of fishing. Our nice lady pilot.
hopefully down. We're here. So that's some nice views of the river, just on the way, on the way in, on the descent. A lot of cloud around at the moment, so we couldn't see that much from high up. But as soon as you got below the cloud, it was quite impressive. So just get all the kit unloaded, and then off to the river. Oh wow! A couple of macaws. It's a fast shutter speed, but to get all way that in the distance. In. Well, I got to our boats. First, proper look at the river. Water's clear and very low, so not the best. There was a bunch of Russians up at the, the plane and they, I think they only caught two arapaima between them. But they did get 16 species, so six different species of cats, so yeah, that's not bad. We'd be happy with that. Living the dream, mate. Living the dream. Right, yeah. So we're, we're still heading up to camp, but the river's very, very low. So we've all had to get out. As you can see, it's a big struggle. This is the first rapids. We've got a long way to go. There's a lot of rapids up here. So uh, it's going to be a challenge. It's pouring with rain. So I'm going to put this camera away. Smile and wave, Andy. You didn't tell me anything. You didn't tell me where we were staying. You didn't tell me anything. How many people were coming? I started to go tits wrong when I realised, because I had sent Navin all of the, which I had thought were the right, renewed because of yours as well. You didn't get it. Right. So I have to put my hands up and say it's my fault there. Never mind. So if we owe anybody any taxes, just let me know. Yeah, well, we've got it on video now. This is on film. Hey, listen. $350. And Amazon Angler Wings. Taxes, please. Yeah. Tree frog, bro, bro. Well done. It's Can we have a look? Yeah. Oh, it's very pretty. It's cool. Yeah. Look so at like that. Leopard. <laughs> and they eat those what? Just raw or cooked or? <laughs> yeah. It's going good to eat. Come on, Kenny. You took a shot. Yeah. Come on, show us how it's yeah. done. Yeah. For heritage, I was a shot. I'm not afraid. Yeah. I just, just caught every hen. Got it on Friday. Thank you, Justin. <laughs> 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 Hey, oh, look at that. <laughs> look at that, that's stunning. He's a pretty little guy, huh? He is. Yeah. He looks delicious too. Yeah. Is Kenny from today stop eating them? Here we got a pretty. Yeah. Is that for dinner or lunch? Yeah. Where are they there? Some guys been fishing here. Yeah, got some nice paku. Yeah. So that's for dinner tonight. Yeah. Not one we caught, but no. Beautiful. Lovely. Well, we have arrived. First morning out, first cast. As Steve's got, hold up a bit higher, Steve, because that's it. Steve's got a little. <laughs> oh, never mind. I, I haven't even had a cast that. yet. Oh, Steve had a little peacock bass, which would have been great for bait. <laughs> oh, never mind. Right, Steve's in again. I've just had a nice peacock. That's another little peacock. Uh, but mine, we didn't have a video camera or camera sorted out, so mine's gone back probably about two pounds. I, I've had another thing, which I've absolutely no idea what it is. Which is this, quite pretty, but. Um, this is going on his bait, so so that's why it's been stunned. Right, right. So Brian says this is a sunfish, which is similar to the peacock bass, which it is, but obviously yeah. longer and thinner. Interesting. Yeah, nice. PB. <laughs> well, it's Sunday. This is our uh, first proper day of fishing. It's very much like fishing in the rapids at India or in India. Andy and I have had about three fish each. I've had three peacock bass, and he's had a peacock bass and two other rainbow something or others. See how the team working their way up the bank there. This is Brian, our guide. Water's very low, but the fish are hitting, which is what it's all about, really. And he's got something on up there.
it's a black piranha. Yeah? I think. I think he's got a black piranha, which will be our third species in the morning. It's going really well. There it is, our first black piranha of the trip. Serious teeth on that. <laughs> Serious fangs. He's grunting at me. Red tail. <laughs> well, thank you. Mercy little, it's not tiny. <laughs> Wanna go on the beach there? Yeah, 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 please. Fish. First red tail of the trip. Beautiful looking fish. That's our 11th fish of the day already. And our god Brian, he's a happy bunny. Thank you, Brian. So we just weighed this lovely red tail. Came in at 24 pounds, squeaking away like a good one. They've got, got a massive head on them. Not, not Andy, of course. Though I'm sure he's feeling that way at the moment. <laughs> Look at these beautiful colours, fabulous tail. Well done, Andy. Thank you. Ryan's just walking the boat up through the shallows. We're in this massive set of low rapids really, the water's very low. I'm sure there's a few peacock bass in there. There he is, man of the moment. That's what we've just come through. So that calmer water down there is just where Andy's had that cat. We haven't fished the bit up through here, we've just walked up through it. Time, time to get back on the boat. Well, I've just had a, my first black piranha, and then Andy's had this bicuda. Very sort of pikey, barracuda y. Uh, barracuda ish, very. Well, it's like a cross between the two, isn't it? Probably hence the name. Yes. I'm guessing. Come Beautiful. on, put it up for the camera, please. Sorry. It's right, Mia. Beautiful. Beautiful plumage. Well, we're racking them up. Um, I've just had another piranha on. Uh, this is called a what, Andy? A mongjul. 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 So it's sort of like a paku but gold. Very nice. Type of paku. Type of paku. Very good to eat, apparently. So he's coming back. Yeah. Camp tonight. It, yeah, very nice colours and again, big teeth. Andy will be looking at them later. See if we can get some money out of some fillings. I think perhaps. there's a bit of work to do there. <laughs> very good. Right, we are rattling through the species today. Steve's just hooked a pyara. And there it is. One of the fish we wanted to catch. Cool fish, vampire fish also called. Excellent, excellent stuff. What a fish. Right, so that's why they call it a vampire fish. <laughs> Looks like he needs a filling at the front there, Andy. Yeah, he always lost a tip, hasn't he? Yeah, these big teeth go up into these little sockets in the, oh, in the top jaw there. Absolutely brilliant. Good, eh? Yeah, one of the V target fish, one of the target fish. So that's a very good catch. So why is Brian messing around with the engine? <laughs> well, we were pootling uh, upstream uh, through the rapids, which takes an awful long time because the water is very, very low. Um, and the nut that holds the prop on dropped off and the two spacers which uh, is a little tricky in this water. Um, so we've stopped to find said 
prop, nut and spacers. So we found the nut and the prop, but no spacers. We? We, we, yes, we, Brian. <laughs> team effort. But, you know, in fairness, it is a team effort really, because um, Andy supplied the, uh, the Polaroid glasses that found them. And, uh, you know, I've just supplied the, the, the pliers and uh, we, we found a, uh, a key ring uh, bit of metal that might well keep the prop on now, so it is a bit of a team effort. But it's been a fabulous day, it's about quarter past two. Um, we've caught six odd species, I think we're at 19 fish, it's pretty good going. Um, yeah, I mean, Andy's had a lovely 24 pound yellow tail. Uh, we've had red tail. Red tail as well. It had some yellow on it, but it wasn't a red tail. <laughs> yellow tail. Anyway, um, Yes, uh, I've had a five pound uh, piranha, which was nice. Um, some nice, oh, what do we have? A pyara. Pyara. With a big T. Bicuda. Bicuda. Um, yeah, everything really. Um, so yeah, we're learning all the time, but it's it's been a very hot day, deceptively so. But it's good fun, we're, we're catching. Um, lures are getting destroyed, which is what we like. Um, we're gonna poodle back to Campbell that way and hopefully catch some catfish. So maybe that'll be the next thing on the take. Five pounds. Right, yet another species, a five pound Kobe. If you can do a pose with it, Steve. Just working out whether it's got any nasty spines. Oh, it probably has, yeah. It's got big teeth, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> Might be able to see them. I'll have to zoom in a bit, actually. Oh, yeah, teeth. Look at that, it's a nice fish, isn't it? Beautiful. He fought well too. Oh, it hit on the surface, didn't it? Yeah. It dived. <laughs> Excellent. The top tip, keep your drag loose. <laughs> <laughs> this is my second cobia. And they make this unusual noise, as you can probably hear. And as you can see, in uh, full Al-Qaeda combat gear, Brian's under that mask and hat somewhere, looking like the Invisible Man. <laughs> but, uh, there's all sorts of goodies we caught today. Look, are you going to hang him on there? Yes, that's not, that's not Andy's arse, that is the fish. <laughs> She's in the rapids again, been down a few already, including went down one backwards, which was deliberate. And this one's stopped too bad. Yeah, I hope. Yeehaw! Alright, awesome! So, having a brilliant day. First day, first proper day fishing. Caught loads. A couple of guys have got a interesting looking catfish. What's that? Hey, that's cool. Leopard. Nice. Well done. Very nice. What's that? Yeah. Is that another one of them? Help us forward, day one. Fishing for catfish outside the camp. Just having a coolish beer. It's okay, it's not bad temperature. No. Brian up front. Been a fabulous guide today. The camp glistening in the evening sunlight, our own desert island. Complete with palm trees. Palm trees, yeah. Very nice. Here we are, Ryan's just had a, a real big pyara. As soon as he dropped his bait in, they're just taking photographs now. Yeah. They're a long way off. 
And That's Brian's really under shaking. pressure now because we've been here for about hours. Yeah, come on, Brian. Why haven't we had a bite? <laughs> <laughs> right, we're on night vision. So Steve's not very clear, but he has got a fish on. I no idea what it is. It's not really pulling back. Well, it is just. Just. I'd say it was a 15 pound, 20 pound something. <laughs> Could be a Russian submarine that they left last week. <laughs> red tail. There you are. No, this is the it's not a red tail. Sienna. It's a what? It's Sienna. A uh, blinker. Blinker, that's it. Hey, that's blinker with the whiskers. Blinker, yeah. Looks no. a bit like a piraiba. It's your fish, you've got to land it, mate. I have to land mine. <laughs> So Steve's got a jarrow catfish, another one of our target species. Brilliant, excellent. Brilliant, absolutely brilliant. You diddly one, he's about 25 just to, pounds. Just to top off the day. Yeah. Yeah, he's a good, good 20. What a mate. Fought a bit better than your Simmer Timbo, didn't he? Did I take a nice picture for you? Uh, no, it didn't actually. Really? It, in all honesty. It did do a lot, did it? No, I mean, it, you know, even Brian... Right, Steve's not. birthday. We're Arapaima fishing today, hopefully. So we've got a long journey upriver. Go and find the pools on the lake and hopefully have a go tonight or this afternoon and then uh, overnight up there because it's too far to come back and it's Steve's birthday with an upside down happy birthday sign there we go there we are happy birthday Steve thank you mate and some nice cards 49 though. today there's Steve's cards a couple of them yeah I think this one was taken on my 40th but he's changed the fish on it <laughs> <laughs> I think you could be right. <laughs> Very good. Let's see what we get. Hang on, let's zoom up on that one with the falls. Very nice. Well, it's my birthday, and there's four of us setting off upriver. Good four hours. Let's see if we can find some arapaima. This is the camp. That's our tent, and our second one on the left there. So we're on our way to go fishing for Arapaima. I've abandoned Steve, so I've got two new mates now. He's back there in the other boat. It's going to be a good few hours before we get there, but the um, weather's been okay so far. And uh, we've got Ryan. Hey! How are we doing? And we've got Kev. It's good. So, Kev's the one who nearly caught a really big fish yesterday. <laughs> the rocks are all these shallow bits but the, the boat guys have got incredible eyesight they can spot, spot the rocks along before me see the few macaws on the way up and plenty of other boots not a lot else so far but you never know your big cable was out this morning outside the camp swimming around so uh, I'll try and get some video of him when we go back. to go. <laughs> Giant river otters, very cool. There you go. See the size of them? Big. And there you go. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> there you go. Oh, look at that. <laughs> oh, wow. That's pretty amazing. Fantastic. <laughs> 
Yeah, there's another one. <laughs> oh, aren't they cute? There's our first arowana. Stunning looking fish. Absolutely beautiful. Double um, hook up. Double hook up, yeah. That's just what we wanted for bait for the arapaima apparently. Favorite, Top bait. Their favourite. Caviar for arapaima. Quick close up of the very interesting trapdoor mouth. Big scales. Pretty colours, although you can't see it quite so well, but that nice sort of red edging, a bit like the arapaima. Brilliant. Big scales. Brilliant. Nice big cane in here. He's dead, isn't he? Is he dead? <laughs> or is he sleeping? He's dead. Look at the flies on his head. Yeah, he's dead. That's why all the um, vultures and things are here. The other one wasn't dead though, was he? We just saw another one swimming away. We saw this one on the beach, but obviously that's why it didn't move when we got closer. He's dead. An ex caiman. Just coming into the Arapaima Lake. Once we're in there, we've got to be very, very quiet. Just been sorting the boat out. Organised and fingers crossed. And a birthday arapaima for Steve would be very nice. Well, our fingers are crossed, but we've seen giant river otters this uh, today, and uh, we've caught a couple of arapaimas together. So, arowana, <sighs> arowana today. <laughs> Take two. <laughs> I'm having a great day. Right, well, we've had quite a few fish moving around us. And uh, a fish swirled right over Steve's bait. Just moved the bait a bit and, and it's taking it. It's pretty close to the boat at the moment. Just trying to get under the boat, I think. <laughs> Give us a smile, Steve, on your birthday. A grimace. It's come off. Oh, I don't believe that. Uh -oh. Sorry, Steve, did you say something? Hey ho. Hey ho. Well, it's all happening here. Andy was coming to reel in. The other two had two fish on at the same time. Oh, he's had a pick up as it was re being reeled in. So technically the counts, the two boats have lost four fish doing everything properly. Andy reels in, it grabs the bait. So let's hope it stays on. Oh, there it is, found it in here. I didn't get it the first time. Well, let's hope this one stays on. I think it was an all. Gutted. Now that's a big in all. Hey, we'll take one in the boat, mate.
Ricardo just come back from the Arapaima fishing. I was extremely fortunate to have a, a fish. I, I was just winding back my bait to get a new bait and the fish was on so I've been sat there chomping on it. Anyway, nice to get one. Not a huge one, but it doesn't matter. It's about 65, I, I, I would imagine, that sort of size. Anyway, back, back at camp, something to eat, and we're going to have some beers to celebrate. And he's just got his first very toothy Pyara, I think. Hold it up for the camera. Well done, mate. First, yeah. Fantastic place for a camp. I mean, it's just, just amazing. Just been out fishing this morning. Uh, only briefly, I had a, my first payara and a couple of other hits. Had a briefly hooked by Cuda, which leapt and it came off. So nice, nice start to the day, really. But uh, just rocks and pools everywhere here. So fingers crossed we'll do okay on the Arapaima again. So I've got all the rods there, uh, so it's just camp beds under a tarpaulin. Unfortunately the camp beds are all on a slope, so all of us spent the entire night sliding down the bed and then crawling back up. Here's the guys, just had breakfast, getting ready for another assault on the Arapaima. See how many we can lose today, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Not as many as me. <laughs> well, you go on holiday with friends, look. You lend them a lure, and look what he does to it. <laughs> Piranha, bakudas, pyarad. See? Sign of a successful sign, lure, though. Sign of a successful lure, exactly what I was going to say. Well, this is its kind of cousin here, in green. It's in not much better shape. Yeah, it's had a few holes in. Balsa wood based. These are plastic, go a bit deeper, also piranhaed. So they probably are our most successful lure so far. But well, I'm sure there's some good ones in here as well. We're thinking of cutting the lips down on these, see if we can make them work a bit better. This had something large on it earlier but come off. So spoons are working, slithery ones are working. I haven't tried the, the big prop baits and uh, surface walking the dog types. I had, a, I had a brief go on the first day but did did, yeah I didn't get any, any hits or anything. I think it's a confidence thing as well isn't it? So well, yeah of course it's it is. Working. But then we, we we're more interested in catching fish than catching fish on the surface for purest reasons. <laughs> and I'm, I'm breaking things. Break well, you, you break the chair, now you break the camp bed. <laughs> it's a good job you did lose some weight, Steve. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I like to add the chair was already broken on the <laughs> I just had a run on my rod. So we've just got to wait a little bit so it takes it properly, apparently. See if the rod bends around. Keep winding. No fish. Right, I've got have another run. So Steve's got the rod. Gonna see if we get something this time. There is a turtle in the area, so maybe that was what we had on before. But it could, have been a, it could have been a small cat, but it's the lines, lines peeling off, yeah? Still there, it's a bit jerky. Jerky, jerky. Right, let's see what happens this time. Oh, the rod's going around. Something's on. Another possible turtle run. <laughs> they follow us around. Just going to a different lake now. Which is a lot smaller, a lot more overgrown.
get a snag, a little twig on the way through. So nothing in that lake. I think we've got one more to try. Fingers crossed. Steve's got an absolutely belting peacock bass on here. Biggest one yet. Stunning colours. I saw I saw two in the shallows. We both cast and we both hooked up. Fish landed. There we go. That's that's a lovely looking fish. You're stunning. Nice, very nice, Steve. Well done. Thank you. <laughs> I've got an old perch thumb now. So it's been waiting on these um, shallow sand flats here. <laughs> you got to do the the stingray shuffle. That's what we revised, and I had one disturb about two feet, three feet from me. Not very big, probably about uh, just over a foot across, but. Glad I didn't stand on it. Tunes aren't happy, that's what you can hear. So they've probably got a nest or young here somewhere. So okay, just gonna negotiate these rapids by the looks of it. Not a coracle, is it Andy? <laughs> a bit bigger. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Got a tactic. Oh, look at this! What an expert, eh? The man's a genius. We ain't got there yet. <laughs> Back to camp.